start recording. Okie dokie, so where we left off last time, in fact, maybe I will just copy it straight off the Slack. Um, doo -doo -doo. Copy image, paste. So this is what we had uh, last time. So, and the um, part of the idea was uh, the fact that it was, now we'll up the production value here and see if we can do this way. Hey, there we go. Um, as we had this situation here, uh, can I now finish with that? All right. So how did you go with thinking about um, how we're going to do this maths? Basically, we have an incoming velocity vector in red, and we want the outgoing velocity vector in green, and we have the normal to the plane of impact. Oh, whoops. <laughs> whoops. Well, I, you, made, you drew a different thing at the end, which was sort of like red arrow and a green arrow, or another arrow, like kind of stuck together. Ah, and yes. Then, with the thing coming out the other way. So I thought about that as opposed to this. I don't know if it's entirely, I mean, it's not that different. Okay, so, um, so the other thing that I drew was exactly the same diagram, um, but with the... Um, the normal on its own angle. Well, with all of these vectors, like at the moment they're placed sort of in context, but if we were to take every single vector and put them around, you know, the same... Uh, same origin, we're going to have uh, this vector here, and we're going to have this red vector here, and we're going to have this uh, purple vector here. Yeah, right. Yeah, and we're, yeah, we're still trying to get the green vector. I just saw... When I looked at it, I was like, I was looking at it like the bottom left. Maybe it's exactly the same. It just kind of throws me off because the pink, the the normal, I don't see it like the same way I see it in that picture. But it's just because it's coming up. Anyway, I find the other one. I thought about the one on the bottom left. I don't. Well, um, well that's fine. Um, so this is this is something that I sort of. Exactly the same. Yeah, if you move the red arrow up, like if you visually extended the bottom left arrow up, it's the same problem. Like, yeah. So yeah. this 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 sort of transformation is something that I sort of want to like get get some familiarity with, um, because these are, these are sort of the same thing. It's mm -hmm. the the concept that these are all just vectors that you know have a you know an x and a y component, and we can think of them as just vectors in arbitrary space, or we can think about, okay, so there's a velocity vector from this thing that's coming in that way and it's coming out that way. And so this is, this is in context and this is just out of context. Right. I guess I got, con like, yeah, yeah, I wouldn't, they look different at first because yeah, you've, you've added their positions and moved them around in, in the space. Uh -huh. um, so, okay. That's fine. Um, so, give, given given that, did did you get particularly far with how we might go about calculating the green vector from the red vector? Um, depends on what you define by far. I can tell you what I was thinking about. Yeah, 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 um, absolutely. And then where I kind of fell off. Yeah. Um, one was like, uh, okay, so I originally thought, okay, well, um. There must be some vector subtraction here, like subtracting the red arrow from the or the red vector from the pink mm -hmm. vector. I feel like that's got to be involved at some point. Um, but uh, that doesn't really help me. But um, the other thing I thought about might be like I kind of started thinking about it and then got confused. And the, the, re the what I was thinking about was um, a while ago we were doing. Um, like uh, we were doing, like we could find the tangent, and in some ways, like the green arrow kind of looks like, um, like I could get a tangent for it, like using like a tan two, in in the x and a to like get um, the sort of like 
angle. And that's the problem with my ideas. Like, I, I want to get the angle of the green arrow, but the problem with that idea is that an angle is not a vector. An angle is a, it's a like a single. It's a scalar value. Mm -hmm. So, um, that's sort of where things broke down. So, that's that's as good as I could do. That's all right. Um, so let me think. Um, just to talk about the tangent. Um, so the tangent to this um, pink vector would be obviously the vector along here. Right. And that might come in handy. Uh, at least for part of this process. Um, the <clears throat> tangent to the red arrow is probably not going to be useful because like if I draw this diagram again with like different inputs, um, so if we have a, a red, uh, you know, an input coming in there and then the line of reflection is going to be like that. Good diagram. Um, the line of reflection is going to be like that. And um, so the output vector is going to be like that. And so um, hopefully you can see from that that there's not really a tangent here, like that and that the angle here is not 90 degrees whereas it is only 90 degrees here because well it looks like 90 degrees here because um i've just happened to draw a roughly like 45 degree angle uh, yeah no I, I wasn't yeah i guess maybe that's the wrong way to say what i was thinking it was more like um like uh how do i like i guess the question i was posing is like how do i find like the angle between these two vectors. Um, ah, right, right. And, but again, like it's not a, but a, an angle doesn't give me a vector. Um, one, yeah. Um, yep. can you, I'm kind of like, now I'm just kind of like shotgunning stuff we did before, but, um, uh, we ha, we, what about like, what's on the bottom left, um, I was just like trying to remember this, but what if what is the what's the dot product of the pink and the red arrow? The dot product of the pink and the red arrow will give you a scalar. Um, yeah, I know. And you're on the right track, I think. Um, Can't really draw it, right? Because it's a point; it won't show up visually. Uh, but yeah, so the um, what I think you're thinking. What I, what I will just say um, before we move on to that, because that sort of will then. I was trying. On. I was like, maybe we can get a dot product and then, or get some kind of like a perpendicular of some other. Yep, value. yep, yep. So, so what I will say just before we go down that that route, because that's actually pretty much the correct route. Uh, I will say that when you said before we could do some sort of subtraction between these things. Yeah, um, I think that, that's involved. I just have a hunch, but I don't know how. Okay, so that's that's not going to really be that useful because um, the vectors we have here are normals to the plane. Um, they're kind of arbitrary and they're probably just unit length. Whereas the vectors right. that we have here, um, they're um, uh, velocity vectors. So you can think of them as having units. So they could be like meters per second. Um, and it's like meters per second minus like arbitrary, like or unitless, and it's so if you do like a unit analysis, this doesn't make any sense. Right, I forgot all about that. Um, so that's that's just worth worth keeping in mind uh, for that. So what I'm going to show you now is um, perhaps a useful useful sort of thing. In fact, actually, you know what? Um, let's Let's do this. Um, um, oh, no, actually, I, I will show. You, I'll show you the the full way, and uh, we'll we'll um, just go with it. Um, okay, so the red is our incoming vector. So if we project the red onto the pink, we get uh, you know this much 
in the red direction. So we're assuming, uh, if we take a dot product, we're assuming that pink is normalized. Um, mm -hmm. Everyone can read that, I'm sure. Now, if we take cyan, and so we've taken the perpendicular, so we've done a um, rotate 90 degrees, although uh, rotate 90 degrees will go this way. In fact, um, then we can also figure out how much red we have on this axis. Now, the nice thing about this is if I'm doing this diagram over here, and so I've got, uh, you know, here's my uh, normal to the plane of impact, here's my tangent to the plane of impact, uh, here's my, you know, my reds coming in that way, which I guess it will be. Wait, how did you get the tangent of your plane of impact? Uh, so tangent, we're not doing tangents anymore. Uh, tangent, uh, we we can do tangent. Tangent is just ninety degrees uh, yeah. to that. So it's just a rotate ninety, uh, okay. which oh, right, sure. we have a method for as well. So yeah. Um, so now if we um, do the same process over here, we've basically got. Uh, I've sort of roughed out this diagram, but. Um, we can project onto this axis. So we have this much in one component and we can do it on this tangent axis and we have this much in that component. So um, given this diagram here, we need to calculate green. So what do you reckon? Any thoughts on what green is going to be? It's going to be the well, I mean, I can see it in my mind, but it's going to be perpendicular to red, isn't it? Uh, perpendicular to red would be well, no. 90 degrees, so not quite. No, no, no. Um, um, Keep wanting to say like, oh, yeah. What are you doing? I'm Nothing? just redrawing it in in context while you while you think. So, if you... I kind of lost the. So, um... Project to get the blues. Um, right. Right. So you can imagine this is this is our surface that we're bouncing off. And this is you know if we were if we were a little bouncy bouncy ball over here we'd come in we'd impact here and bounce off in this direction. Um, and so now if I take so 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 sort of um, you can see how this would be the case intuitively, yes? Like that's yeah. That oh nice. yeah. No. Yeah. yeah absolutely. Yeah. So yeah, well, I'm just trying to think of um. All well, I'm going to do like, is I'm going to take you... this vector, and put it in context here. So that might help you out a bit. I don't. I don't know why it would. <laughs> um. Like I know. I know that I wanted. I know that I'm. You. You want me to. Figure out a. A dot product, but I'm trying to find the normal I would use and the vector I would use. Okay, um, let let's try. Let's put this uh, diagram on the stack for a bit, and we will um, try something else that might help. So let's say we have now a flat surface, and so our tangent, um, no, sorry, our normal vector is just going to be straight up. And um, this is kind of like a um, 
a case where we can sort of take some shortcuts. So let's say that our velocity vector coming in is, uh, let's say it's two, three. And so it comes in, it bounces off. And so the question is, what is the velocity going to be after the bounce? Right. In fact, I'm well, going to make a minor change there because negative two, three. Or rather, <laughs> to be more clear, three comma negative two is the incoming vector. Right. Well, I feel like okay. So what? Is, like so? Like, can we start by like? Can we take the? Um. Can we get rid of the values for now and just like I don't know, like normalize the red arrow? Um. We could. Uh, I actually I actually sort of want to try it with values, but I will point out that. Normalizing the red arrow is just going to give you, um, well, it's going to give you like that as a as a vector. Um, so you'll basically have um, how would you draw this? Um, if this if this is v uh, v equals that, um, we'll, we'll call it v one. Uh, you bas basically end up with v1 equals v1, um, v1, uh, which is not really a useful thing. Um, you've just split right. split split the uh, x, y into a length and a thing. Although one thing yeah. we can say uh, that's interesting is if this is v2, um, uh, v2 equals uh, v1. So is this possibly is what you were thinking about? Uh, v2 direction. So is this is this where you were going with it? And that is that. Well, yeah, I thought I could get rid of the. I, I know that like, I know that I got like if I got rid of the. Yeah, if I got rid of the. Um, v1 because they're um i could apply it i could always like apply it later like um so i can always if i could if i could deal with the problem in normalized space then i could i could just like scale the um the result at the end and i'd end up in the right spot okay um, um i'll I'll, sh I'll i'll give you a great great line uh, i'll give you a better line. Uh, I'll give you a, another example that might be Excuse worth me. worth thinking about. Um, <coughs> um, um, uh, just doing a bit of calculation on here. Um, no, that's not what I wanted. Um, uh, sorry, I'm just trying to maths. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I th it's like it is this, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Okay, so let's say we have uh, the same same diagram, only this time, this time, our vector is negative zero point seven oh seven. And this is 0 0.707. And the question then becomes, what is our outgoing vector? And the neat thing about this is that if this is V1, um, you know, the length of V1 is one. So this is already normalized. So we still have the same problem. I see. But, um, now we've kind of got rid of the length. So okay. 
So we still have to solve it. And what you'll find, like we, we can we can then go and apply whatever solution you come up with to this problem. But what you should find is that um, the scaling should actually fall out. Uh, the solution will work for both cases. Right. Fair enough. OK, well, um, let's. Um, so, and you said, and you said that a, the, a, a subtraction isn't going to help here. Like, the only other thing, I, like, I'm thinking, well, why can't I just, um, like, is the difference between red and green significant for the problem? Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get rid of this because, yeah. This is not a vector. We. This is not a no, vector. We even know. We're just assuming that it's. Yeah. Straight up. So we're not going to do anything with that one. And then we. I mean, you can't say really subtracting this one. So what I'm going to do is I'll say we'll ignore this for now, because I think I think you'll find that this is easier. So. Okay. Just just looking at the diagram. Give me a value for the x-axis of v two. 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 Here. X axis. Yes, so uh, this one. Sorry, yeah. Um three. Okay. And uh the y axis, so uh, two. That's pretty good to me. And um and that's correct. So Basically, hopefully you can see what we've done is we've got um, we just mirrored it. I mean, we've just mirrored it. It's, that it's like a reflection of itself. Vector and that vector, and then uh, yeah, that's the axis. We've mirrored it around the x-axis by inverting the y-axis, so you can see that this has lost its uh, little minus symbol. Um, <clears throat> so now that we now that we have this pattern, let's put this guy back. Um, and then we'll come back up to this diagram here, and um, think about can we apply apply this mirroring that we've done. Which is just um, you know reflected equals uh, you know we've mirrored one one of the two components we've uh, I guess we've subtracted it from zero and then can we apply it in the general case so what do you reckon about this one well you already have the green arrow in there I do have the green arrow in there so um, <clears throat> I mean, hopefully, hopefully you can see what's happened here. Is the well, it, it, it's a re it's a reflection also along that axis, yeah. So this is just reversed. So um, this projection onto the tangent axis is the same, but this projection onto the normal axis is different. Uh, sorry, can you say which? Sorry. Um, which project? Like, yeah, that one is different than which one? Uh, this one. So this this, uh, this is the one we've reflected. Is in on this yeah this axis we've reflected, uh, whereas this axis we've left the same. Um, and so this is this one is the pink one, which is going back up to our diagram here. Is the the normal to the plane, and uh, the other one is the tangent to the plane. Right. So are you are you pretty happy with that process now? No, but um, I almost got what you said. Uh, okay, well, let, I, I want you to be happy with this process. So let's um, tell tell me tell me which part you're not happy about. Um, I don't really know. I mean, maybe can we do can we just do that one again? Like, can we just erase it and start over? Not like yeah, the the one that you were doing on the right bottom right of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, fixing that diagram. Uh, okay. okay, so. I just because I come, just want to understand, like, because I don't feel like we did any work. I, like we just said, well, this is a mirror of this. And... Well, I mean, this is this is one of the things. Is like some of these things are actually, actually really simple. Um, 
So let's say we have a triangle, and I'll draw it a bit, a bit elongated there for a while. And we have a shape coming in with a velocity vector like that, and it's going to bounce off um, this surface. And we want to calculate what the uh, outgoing velocity vector is from this bounce. We have the normal to the surface, which we've calculated from the separation axis, as we discussed the other day. Right. Um, and so if we take these three vectors and transfer them into a context-free space, uh, we have this vector here. We start with that one, and we have uh, this vector here, which is the normal to the normal to the plane. So, right, this that's is not this, an assumed vector. That's a real one because we actually have it. It's we, not like so this is yeah. this is exactly. So this is what we're starting with. We just have these two vectors. So, talk me through what we're going to do. Um, we're going to mirror the we're going to reflect the red arrow onto the um, the um, mm -hmm. which I'm just trying to figure out which axis well ref reflect uh, reflecting the red one is like that's oh, the overall, well, yeah it's flipping to both that's the overall process so talk me through yeah. in in terms of just like the simplest operations we have um Well, inverse the value of x, inverse the value of y. Sorry, inverse the value of y, and um, that's it. OK, so that only works in uh, this case because we're axis aligned. So this is one of the cases where, um, because we're axis aligned, we can operate on um, I have my pen. Oh right, yeah, we're not. Yeah, yeah. This is the this is the thing I always do when I'm trying to add things, but I can't because we're not. We're in unit space. We're in the. Yeah, we're in the different coordinate system. We're in the contextless coordinate system, so I can't mess with that scalar values and whatnot. Exactly. So um, axis aligned is fine, but we're now not axis aligned. So, uh, what do we do? I don't know. That's the <laughs> that's the missing piece. I mean. Um, we're, we're, we're not axis aligned, but yet we have values for the vectors like we have. Hmm. So the values for the vectors that we have are the X and Y values. So there's these ones. Those aren't really relevant here. So they're not really relevant here. I mean, okay, sorry. Um, I, yeah, but the only thing I can think of you already told me was wrong. So the, it's like, well, what do we have? We have perp 180. Um, mm -hmm. Well, perp 180 would be uh, that. But, yeah. um, um, well, we, we but so, perp, okay. Perp sorry, 90 yeah, per is perhaps useful. Well, perp, what does perp 90 give us? Uh, so for the, Pink vector, it would be yeah. that, if I can draw it nicely. Right. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> so now we have uh, the cyan one, which is the tangent to the plane of impact. So drawing it in context, it's that. And then, um, you don't, we don't care about the per 90 of red. You, I think you want me to project the red to the X and Y axis. Um, right? yeah. So we, the perp 90 of red would be like, uh, something that, we don't care about that, which is sort of totally useless. Um, 
Well, so, no, I mean, every time you draw it, I'm like, yeah, and now we just have to inverse that one, and we're done. <laughs> kind of looks like the green arrow. Well, um, uh... if we if we project, um, um, no, <laughs> I got nothing. You're on the right track. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some, because these are normal, so we can sort of think of them as infinite, as like axes. Yeah. So what do you reckon? You're on the right. You're on the right track. Um, I'm trying to get. I know. Yeah. I, what I want to do is like. Um. I mean. Here's a dumb question. If the. Is the. Is the x axis on the black. Cross. Is is that the is that the vector I'm looking for? Uh, no. So this okay. this is this is the x axis, but that's just yeah. I know. When I tilt my head, it's like okay, maybe it, it's that. But um, all right. Well, let's get the vector that is the um the projection onto the x axis of the red arrow, like the. And have the projection of the red sorry like you've got a dashed line like the, I don't know I'm, sorry I, 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 I don't think I heard what you said so what did you say the first time I was just trying to I want to um, I was I remember when you projected the red vector yep um, to the X and Y X axis um, and got up in you know um, two other vectors from that Okay, so you're you're pretty much on the right track. Um, so the, I'm missing something key, though. Well, you'll see that the um, I just I just drew in like these two extra sort of axes, and mm -hmm. so these are these are like the axes that we actually care about, is the normal and I mean, the tangent. We, we do we do care about those. Yes. Hmm. So we don't care about these two. Right. Again, I wanted like take the um okay yeah no see I, i'm like frick i'm like well i can get an angle if i take the um if i take the red vector and i get the dot product of it against n hat okay so the dot oh. product of red against n hat is this Or yeah. it, it is not so much a vector as this distance here. Right, and isn't and that and that's not the inverse of what we're looking for, because it kind of looks like it is. But no, it's not. It's not. I can't. I'm having a hard time seeing it. But I feel like okay, I'm gonna, and then uh, <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. That's all right. Um, so what I'm gonna do. I'll do the I'll do the projection onto uh, the tangent axis as well, so that would be mm -hmm. that one there, and that'll give us this distance here. Right. And I mean, we could we could pretend they're vectors, like. Right. Yeah. No, I know, but no, I mean, in code, we'd be sitting here with floats. Like... Uh huh. But we have a pair of them, so. And, and right, you could make a vector out of them, sure. And certainly, if we added them together, we get uh, the red vector. And that's not, yeah, so those aren't significant to this. Uh, well, they kind of are, but... Um... So... I mean... Yeah, Rick. 
<laughs> wow. So, one thing that might be useful, because it often is, is to think about like what, <clears throat> like think about it in try, <coughs> and this this is like the, the the complicated. Well, no, this is this is the mental mental trick, and that is you have to think about it in both in context and out of context, kind of at the same time, or at the very least, if you get stuck here. You know, jump back to here. What does our like? What are we doing? The nice thing about this one is that we actually have, you know, we have. I mean, we have a surface. We we kind of have derived that surface here, like this blue, yeah, tangent axis. We now have actually derived that um, in right. The yeah, it's the tan. It's the tangent of the um, axis that we tested and. The, the, of the normal of the projection from our whatever um, the, the, separating axis. Yeah, thing, so we were able to build that in context-free space with what we already had. But that was probably like the simplest part. But the thing that we do have in the sort of in-context way of looking at it is we actually have the result that we want. Like we, we've intuited this. Mm -hmm. So... Um, so we, we could, we could, um, take that intuition and copy it back onto the other diagram. Yeah. But I don't know how to do that with a set of operations. Like that's what we're trying to achieve, right? We're trying yeah. to reproduce so, that with, with math operations that get us there without <coughs> worrying. With, but it may, like, it may help us if we, um, like, in fact, what I will do is I will really quickly just sketch this out. Um, so I've got the incoming there. We've got uh, the tangent there. We've got the normal there. Um, and then we have, so that's that one. And then we have, this is the surface of the thing. And so I'm just roughly sketching this direction here and then you know, I'm copying this arrow down here. So this is roughly speaking, this is where, where we're trying to go over here. Mm -hmm. So, <coughs> excuse me, what do you reckon? I'm in the same place I was before you drew that. Oh dear, <laughs> that's all right. I mean, like, you, you, I mean, like, do we rotate it? Because that's like, but that's not a, it's not something that we do normally. We'll rotate anything. Um, so no, we don't need to rotate. This is fortunately a thing we can we can keep angles out of it. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to do a bit of revision <clears throat> over here. Um, so we have, we have this red vector here and we have these two sort of coordinate systems that we can think about the red vector in. Um, and if we think about it in this space, Um, what is it? This red is equal to mm -hmm. um, x. So y. So if red is v. V equals x y. Mm -hmm. But also v is equal to x plus y. But we also have this <clears throat> now, which we've derived some new axes. Uh, I'll try and offset that angle a bit so it's clearer. So 
So now we have now we have um, this projection that we've done. And so we now have this vector here and this vector here. So this is this is on the tangent axis. And this is on the uh, normal axis. Um, and so we're just going to call this for simplicity. We're going to call this A and B. So uh, the vector V is equal to um, I'll keep my colors the same. V equals uh, A plus B. Hmm. Now, does this does this fact that A plus B equals V make sense? Because um, so, all right, here's uh, here's A. Sorry, here's here's B, and here's we're adding A onto the end of it. A. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. Like, yeah. yeah, I can see it. Yeah. And then we get V. So this that's where we're at yeah. <laughs> with this process here. Yeah. Okay. Um, now does that? Oh, so then, or so V, so green is like V dash, and isn't it just going to be? Um, oh, I just I, th I thought I had something that I don't. Well, I'm like I'm trying to do the same inverse thing or the reflection thing. So how would I reflect v equals a plus b? Um, b. Oh. Uh, well, v is equal to or v prime is equal to a minus b. Um, almost. Uh, a minus B is going to be, so we're going to have A and then we're going to subtract B. A times B. That uh, doesn't make sense because they're uh, <laughs> two component things. So that, yeah, that was A and this is B. And so you end up with uh, this vector here, which is almost right. Um, <clears throat> so do you want to, do you want to, you know, okay, uh, B minus like, A. Yay! <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Shit. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. I was like, yeah, nearly. Almost. I mean, I think the order yeah, is yeah, yeah. Uh, B minus A was what we wrote. I think I think I should have called them A and B the opposite for simplicity, but um, that's okay. So uh, B would be that fellow minus A. So we're note the uh, arrowhead is like over here mm -hmm. and then we get this vector here which is this vector here uh, which is very similar to this vector here so it looks like we reflected it successfully aside from the fact the diagram's not great but um, trust trust me this is trust me this is this is actually what we want Mm -hmm. ends up this is, there. Uh, this is contextless space so these are these don't have a length of any kind uh, right. uh no they they do have length um so these are normals oh, oh yeah okay and in so that it, case then it's not so much contextless space like contextless space is just that you know we've taken all these the starts of these vectors that's why I'd stick a big dot on them and just move them right. to where they sort of make sense uh visually um, okay so we don't have to normalize b minus a before we bring it over to the world uh no, <laughs> no. we don't have to convert to the or like fuck <laughs> sorry <No. laughs> it's, it's sort of like getting beaten over the head with like 20 sessions ago um well you know uh good good, good yeah. way of learning is constantly repeating material um, yeah, I feel like we haven't re nearly repeated the this stuff for a while. Um, okay, so hold on. B minus A. Okay, so that that's the green arrow, but we have to. I don't like. We're obviously not done. Um, oh, we actually we actually are done. Um, as far oh. as as far as this goes. Um, okay. Because that's What's that's next? what we want. Green green is what we want. Green is the outgoing velocity vector. 
So all we have to do is when we detect a collision, um, we have to set the velocity to V prime. Well, how did the vector length have anything to do with that? Um, well, if, okay, so if we're coming in with a certain amount of velocity, we want to exit with the same amount of velocity. So this is the um, uh, inelastic collision that we were discussing. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, sorry, this is the elastic collision that jumps out at the same... Well, there, there, there is an... Um, wait. Um, did we talk about elastic collisions, or did we, were we only dealing with inelastic collisions? Um, I, I, was like, I, I, got, I got this the right way around, didn't I? Uh, an inelastic collision is one that yeah so it's, we're, we're dealing with elastic collisions which is basically sort of the fake ideal case where um in fact <clears throat> we're not even doing elastic collisions it's something because yeah you, so there's a difference because of energy transfer but i right that's i just caught that on your screen yeah no so we're, we're doing we neither, don't really deal with that we're doing neither of these uh, in a sense. I mean, we're doing elastic collisions, but we're also doing a thing where it's like, well, this shape here is fixed. Yeah. yeah. So eventually when we, once we, um, Oh, um, I see. Yeah. Once, once, once we allowed both shapes to move, we'll actually start talking about, uh, the elasticity of the collision and the energy transfer. So we'll, then we'll go back to those Wikipedia pages and basically implement the formulas on them for, you know, dealing with mass and how the energy is transferred. But in this case, we can, uh, we can do like the fake thing. So now we have, now we have these two vectors, uh, A and B. Um, so this, this is them here. And it's like, all right, well, uh, we have your surface, we have a thing coming in. Um, we can actually scale A as well as subtract it. So you know, we have A coming in here, if we have A prime, A prime could be shorter, for example, if we want to lose a bit of energy in the collision. And we can also sort of have fake, um, uh, fake uh, friction. So if we have B, perhaps I'll use a different color for this. We'll have, um, you know, maybe a little bit of fake friction with B prime. And so we end up with like, you know, the velocity vector coming in is, is this, but the velocity vector coming out is that. And so this is how games that haven't implemented like the, um, mm. the full, um, you know, collision elasticity formulas and stuff. This is how they just fake. Um, okay. So fake we only need, right. Okay, so I guess we only um, we only care about things like length when we want to get what the length was, so we can manipulate it and then scale again. Um, so in fact, we we pretty much never like we don't even consider the length as such. We just have these scaling factors. So like I I I I, I guess I'm not quite clear what you mean by considering the length. Oh God. <laughs> okay, I thought. Sorry, I thought the length and the dot product were the same. Um. No. So, uh, length, length would be uh, like so. Say we Session have two. <laughs> <laughs> well, say uh, we have say we have yeah. this vector here. This is this is going to be v. So the length of v. Uh, this is the same thing I drew before. V equals the length of v times v prime, uh, sorry, v hat, um, which is the normalized v. So that would be, if I change the colors here, that would be, in fact, <laughs> pick, a, pick a color, Andrew. Here we go, there we go. We're gonna go sort of muddy orange. So that would be that times the length of v, which I will use blue for. The length of V is a scalar, and so around this thing, it's going to be effectively a circle. 
So all of the possible vectors on this circle, pretending that the circle's anything like round, um, you know, this is, this length here is V, like the V, and this is the direction. So if we then multiply these two together, we get V at the other end. So that's, are you, are you happy with that? Because that's pretty straightforward. Daniel, have you have you muted yourself? I have accidentally. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, that's yeah. I totally understand that. Um, okay, and so that's, then that's old school stuff. I think I was just, I was just trying to play like review page bingo and. <laughs> no, that's <laughs> right. I, I, okay, I so, had a feeling it was involved, but that's all. So let's let's answer your other question. That's a dot product, and that is that requires um, <clears throat> two vectors to do for starters. Um, and so, yeah, that yeah, and, if, I, I, and I, we don't we didn't have two vectors really in the last thing because we're we're trying to make a vector out of a vector in a normal. We didn't have two vectors, so it didn't make sense well, to think about it that way. A normal a normal is a vector. Well, I know, but it was not like a real one, I guess. So I don't know, like I don't know why I fixated on that, but anyway, it's fine. So, what we end up with is um, we end up with that is the dot product so uh, yeah i thought that could help me somehow um that looks a lot like the projection but it's actually the projection on n isn't it? so you'll recall that the uh formula for this and god i hope i'm getting this right because then <laughs> uh otherwise i will be slightly embarrassed um <coughs> so uh I swear I'm getting this right, otherwise I'd be really embarrassed. Um, so if we have um, if we have this vector here, um, and I call that Q, um, and we have V, then um, if we wanted length A, it's, uh, we need to do the projection, which is A equals um, V dot Q divided by the length of Q. So, and as you can see that this thing here, this part here, if we just build that together, we end up with, um, you know, V dot Q hat. Because we've just normalized Q. Right. So that's the revision, basically. And I've, I've, suddenly, I've suddenly become paranoid that I've gotten the formula wrong but I, no I haven't <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm fine um, <clears throat> so my weird my weird black hole of like, knowledge is wearing on you <laughs> um yeah so I, I don't know I mean that just I don't it feels so it just seems like they're like we don't have to do anything and that's that's really how the angle's gonna go just yeah, yeah. So there's, there's, it's another one of these cases that's actually really simple. So it's basically we, we want to do a reflection a, across an axis. So we have to get the vector in that axis space, right? And reflect it, and the reflection is just negate one of the um, components, just like we, you know, just just like we did down here. We negated the uh, Y component. Now mm -hmm. we're just negating the um, the normal or the N hat component, which is A. Yeah. So it's just a matter of doing that projection. So um, I think I think we are out of time to um, actually try and implement this, but now we now we have the formula. So we 
Well, for me, I mean, yeah, I I think before we start, I don't know. Be, uh, yeah, no, I no, no. had some. I, I at some point before Monday, I, what I want to do is, like, like do what you like what we did there. Like, okay, here's our x y axis. Now draw these lines, and then it's like, okay, now I want which axis do I want to reflect onto? Well, I have to get the, um, I have to get the tangent of the unit or tangent of the, um, the surface or whatever. The, yep. Sorry, the, the the normal, and then um, that's like my t hat, and then I got to get the nor and then I use the normal, and that's my n hat. Then I project uh, v onto um, t and onto n mm -hmm. t hat and n hat, and then um, now that I have uh, that, I know that the vector is. Um, because that vector is always in, in the other space, it was x and y, I now um, have the vectors got to be in addition in the new space, which is, uh, and we call those, um, that vector is, you know, a and b. Mm -hmm. And then um, to negate the, um, uh, we want to negate n hat, um, in other words, we want to reflect along the uh, t axis, t hat axis. Mm -hmm. So we negate the n axis, mm -hmm. n hat axis, which is a mm -hmm. in our, which means we take a out of b, we off of b, and there. So that's how we get at v not is b minus a. Yep, exactly. That was, right. I just want to. I just. I need yeah, no, to no, know no. that. That's, that's that's very well explained. Um, like that's that's right. So what I will do okay. is I'll I'll paste this diagram into Slack and um, <clears throat> and also you know for people watching at home this will be uploaded. Um, and so <clears throat> if if you uh, I guess meditate on that and then when we come back on uh, Monday, um, we'll actually work at implementing uh, this. Um, in, into the into the system because there's 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 some um, interesting stuff we can do with the implementation as well um, that's not mathematical that's sort of more programming stuff but um, now we have the maths so any right. any other questions before we close out uh no cool all right uh, thanks for watching everyone and I will see you next time.